Hi, my name is Leanne Day. Last, this time last year I started a quilt called Sinkhole and on it I wrote 12 lines of negative uh, sentences, negative phrases that I heard in my childhood or interpreted myself, things that would bounce around my head and just be really awful, a lot of brooding, that kind of thing. Stitched all of those lines out into this quilt, but then it was so dark and negative, I really didn't know what to do with it. The quilt also had a lot of issues, a lot of rippling, uh, just couldn't stitch it out. And so I folded up the quilt and put it underneath my tables and just kind of left it there and figured I'd get back to it one day. Well, tonight I finally pulled it out and really looked at it and decided, well, maybe I'll rip all those words out and that will be a good thing. Sat down and started ripping and I looked at it again and I realized even if I rip all of these negative, terrible words out, the ripples, the issues that the quilt has are still going to be there. All of those uh, negative things are still going to be bothering me about this quilt. So the best possible thing uh, to do is to simply get rid of it. And that's what I'm going to do tonight. So here's what sinkhole looks like right now. And this is what we're going to do to it. That was sinkhole. Um, here are some shots that I took of what the embers look like as things started to cool down and I started fiddling with my camera a little bit, twisting it around and creating some really beautiful shots and I think that's is just kind of indicative of the whole thing is that sometimes the most ugly things, all those ugly, ugly words can also be beautiful. Uh, at least when they're gone, at least when you're doing something about them. You know, we can make beautiful art out of things that hurt us, or about things that hurt us. And it can be beautiful even though it's about something that's hard and hurtful. I will have to say that I am definitely going to still make a quilt that uses that series of rings, that whole shape. I'm definitely not going to be writing words like that on it, and I will definitely not applique it again because that is what caused all the issues. I'm planning on combining this quilt with a quilt that I designed actually four years ago called Emergence, and combining these two together because they really are perfectly suited to go together. Uh, a goddess basically bisecting and splitting that St. Colin in half and rising to face the sun. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you can see how positive this is. That sometimes not finishing a project is the best possible thing you can do. Let's go quilt. <laughs>